Oh, oh, there's a thing I wanted to talk about, actually. <laughs> Hi, folks. So you see here it tells us about the story section, or the, the story difficulty option, um, which is an option in the game. And I've already talked a bit about difficulty levels and how I think it's really fantastic for games to offer those options. So you may remember that last time it took me like 10 minutes to figure out that I could throw myself up this wall to climb up to Ross because the game literally never tells you. Um, and it was, it stood out to me because I'm not used to games assuming that I'm going to have knowledge that I don't have. Unless I'm like, oh, I don't know anything about this genre. So of course I'm not going to know how this works. How frustrating that this game does not explain this genre to people who haven't played this genre before. Um, one of the things about Horizon Zero Dawn that I think is a valid criticism, and some of you may disagree, is that it makes assumptions about your experience playing past games in this genre. And yet, it also purports to uh, be accessible to people who are only playing the game for story and don't wish to have additional gameplay related challenges. Um, and so that's actually kind of a problem because the games that they assume you've played in the past that would have taught you some of the gameplay mechanics that I don't know are gated by like mechanical skill. So in order to have learned things from say the later Assassin's Creed games or I'm told Uncharted started a lot of the norms um, in open world. I didn't know that Uncharted was an open world game, but apparently it introduced some things. Um, these these are games that like that you, you have to know them to be familiar with the gameplay enough that you don't have to be told anything. Um, and, uh, and it's very frustrating to me, not because there is no explanation, because obviously that was a problem for me, but if I were playing a game that was like, yeah, I'm difficult, and you just have to kind of deal with it. Um, I would probably be less likely to play it if it didn't provide some sort of explanation. But at least that would be like ideologically consistent. This is a game that really, really wants to be approachable. It really, really does. For all that, like it's a it's a difficult and scary world, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, it, it really does want you to be able to experience its story and like it seems like there's a lot of story to experience So I think that's an excellent decision even in a gameplay centric game like this to try to make the story accessible um, Because it's a story focused gameplay heavy game um, If they really want that to be part of how they make the experience accessible and available they need to offer you the information on how to play the game. They need to not make assumptions that you have played games in this genre before, um, even if it's just as a refresher. Um, and I agree that this game um, has a lot going on, and so if I had never played a game like this before in my life, I mean Horizon Zero Dawn is probably not the game to start with if you've never played a video game before. It has so many things going on and it's very very complicated um but i don't know i just i feel like most games that i play if they bother to have a tutorial section they'll just really quickly tell you which button does what and it doesn't have to be a long and elaborate thing so I realize, I, so I feel as though I'm really, really disjointed tonight and I'm not quite sure why. Part of it is because like I'm trying to talk and I'm looking at chat as well. Um, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like it, it's true. They didn't, they, I don't think they had playtesters who weren't familiar with the genre. And I think it is super important to have playtesters who know your genre back and forth um, to provide insight. But you also want to provide, uh, or you want to be able to provide an experience to people who are not in that demographic. So you need to have people who are not in that demographic pointing out things that aren't clear. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a very, very common problem. The human brains will substitute, like they will, they basically auto, auto complete <laughs> and sometimes even auto correct. So this is why, for example, if you're a writer, it's really important to read things out loud before you submit them because your brain will fill in the word that you meant, even if it's not the word that you wrote, even if you just left a word out completely. Um, 
And if you read it out loud, then you force yourself to process every single word on the page and you'll notice that there's something that's missing. Um, but like, it's okay and normal and natural to have blind spots. I would expect that a AAA game would, know, would, would, would know that it has these blind spots, would have done some research. So it's kind of perplexing to me that they explain so much else and they don't even have a like press jump button at yellow things to do things. Um, and it's interesting because after I finished this, I had a conversation with my roommate who is actually a game programmer. Um, and she was talking some because she loves this game. And she was like, I'm initially kind of like a little bit frustrated. Like, well, you know, they can't, they can't do remedial 101 for everything. Um, but then she was like, actually, you know, I've thought about it. And, and, and it does feel kind of weird that they don't explain that. Um, and, uh, and I was talking to another friend who's like, I've noticed a bunch of games don't explain basic things like that sometimes and it's she was like I was wondering that if I was the only one who no noticed that um for example she not my roommate but my other friend was saying that she can't she she took forever to get into Zelda games because she felt like everybody else knew something she, and she was just she's like I'm just I'm just not clearly intelligent enough to play these games because I can't make sense of them the 3D Zeldas um and I do think that, like, the Zelda games assume you have grown up with them to some degree. Um, and so, like, I had a really hard time with, um, I had a really hard time with Majora's Mask, if you'll recall, which was basically my first serious 3D uh, Zelda game that I wasn't playing with somebody else to play all the hard parts. And there were a lot of things that I couldn't make any sense of. A lot of things with the puzzles that I could just never wrap my head around. Um, so something to think about, like, and, and this is, this is larger than the scope of playing this game. I'm really off to a great start actually making progress through this story, aren't I? <laughs> no, but, um, like, I think that it is worth asking yourself, like, as a game developer, you know, who are you making this game for? And what is their experience? And what are you going to do about players who don't come with that same experience? How much can you prepare for that? If somebody has only played a different genre, so they make certain assumptions um, based on another genre, can you anticipate that and plan around that? Um, if somebody is like me and has played games in this genre like several generations ago, and so I feel as though I, I know how things work, generally speaking, um, do you anticipate that? And what about somebody who's never played a video game before in their lives and you like kind of have to teach them the basics of like, this is a button, this is how you move. Like, how do you do that? And it's complicated. I don't think that there's an easy answer to that. And I don't think that an answer to that would be true for like every game equally. Like, I don't think there'd be like the one, the one way that all games should be. Um, but I think that that's something to, to, to uh, ask yourselves if you are looking to develop a game. Um, I don't know. I've also been told that I'm pretty good at breaking games in unexpected ways. I actually did have an indie game developer who, who, who saw me play through and get stumped on one of his games, so he asked me to come play test the next thing that he was working on to see how I got stuck. Wish I did get stuck a few times. So that was fun. Um, so I don't, I don't assume that I know everything about games, um, but, uh, and I know that I, I, you can't always anticipate that somebody's going to make weird assumptions about things, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting though. It's interesting stuff. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's something that this game made me think about. And I'm sorry, I feel like I said a bunch of words, but they all just kind of scattered out and I feel like I'm not not fully in control of my brain right now, so please forgive. Um, yeah. So somebody pointed out to me on YouTube that I haven't uh, actually taken any damage from a monster or anything in this game. I've only taken damage from jumping and failing. Um, oh, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Those things are yellow. Thank you, Blue Glass. That's good to know. Um, the thing with this game is that you feel, once, once you finish your first, um, your first, like, oh, whoa, I'm in this great big open world, how amazing, like, running around, having a great adventure time, 
um, and are reminded by the game that this is in fact an open world stealth game, then you're like, oh yes, this world is big and it is scary and I am small and squishy and made of meat. And my enemies are not. Um, it's cool, I think, um, that you feel that in the world because they tell you... What is that? I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Okay, wrong button. This button? Yes, look at me buttons. What am I shooting over here? I don't know, but that looks like an animal. Oh, okay, hold on, sorry. I was trying to say something, but I got distracted. But yeah, um, they tell you in the story this place, oh, yes! Okay, so the jump button is on the bottom because you jump with your feet. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Um, but they tell you the world is scary and dangerous. And then they follow up with it. What did I kill? Do I feel bad? Oh, it's a fox. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna take everything. Oh, that's some good stuff. Um, they, they can tell you that a world is scary all they want. This got a bite out here. But like, it, there's one thing, it's one thing for them to tell you and another thing for them to make you feel it. So I can't do scary things, but I've actually watched like the entirety of Resident Evil 4 be played through. And part of what makes Resident Evil 4 not scary, aside from the fact that it's kind of cartoony and silly, is that most of the time you don't actually feel the danger because you're this like super strong, super tough dude suplexing zombies. So it's a very different experience from most survival horror games in which you're a character who's in some way, like, frailer, weaker, more vulnerable, um, and, uh, that adds to the, the horror and fear of it. So, uh, so, there can be a disconnect between what you are told and what you feel about the world. Um, now in some games they want you to feel really scared early on so that eventually when you become super strong and invincible and are running around at the end of the game like amazing um, you really feel it um, and that's cool and I don't know if we're going to do that in this game I don't know if this game is ever going to reach that level did the music get scarier? Oh, we'll get this um, but they clearly very much want you okay I can do this they very much want you to uh to feel scared of the world. They want you to remember that the world is dangerous here. It's a big part of the gameplay and a big part of the setting. Um, and in order to believe, for example, that these people have to depend on each other to survive, that their setting, or not their setting, but that their culture functions the way it does, um, they have to sell you on it, you know? If, like, we just ran around just, like, blowing up dinosaurs like it was nothing. Oh, that I think it's a dinosaur that thinks it sees me. Oh geez, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take that one. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh shoot, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. How does it see me? I'm up here. It's gonna knock this, isn't it? Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, can it climb? Uh, how do I how do I crouch? Sorry. Please, no, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. No, we're hunting me. No. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry, folks. I, I'm i gonna, like, talk and try to play the game at the same time. Do you think it sees me? What is it doing? Oh, okay. So it heard the noise that I made earlier because I was like, there's... Ironically, I was like... We're fearless running around the world until the world teaches us to be scared. I say this as I fearlessly run around making lots of noise because I was like, I don't see anything here, so I think I'm safe. But then I wasn't. It was the noise that I made that got, uh, that, that, that gathered, or that, that, that got the attention of that dinosaur. Um, this is a reminder. You are never fully safe here, except maybe when you're in, like, the the towns where you don't get to stay. Um, and so having that be part of, I should probably figure out, oops, oh, shoot. That probably made some noise. Let's, uh, let's hope we're safe. Okay, how do I walk? No, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. 
that spawn button. Oh shoot, that made noise. How do I, okay. Sorry folks, I am not good with controls. So now I have to try to figure out, there we go, got it. Okay, we're gonna just not run and make lots of noise. I eventually figured out how to use all the buttons with Hades, but if you will recall, it took me a couple of months to get to that point. Alright, so we are safely out of sight, which is good, and I completely lost my train of thought. But I think that that's actually a pretty good illustration of what I was trying to say. <laughs> Talking about how... Talking about how I, uh, I feel that they do a good job of making you feel and believe the, uh, scariness of the world. And, like, I don't know. Oh, I'm full on rocks. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I did eat some berries, didn't I? Um. I'm gonna get this plant. It doesn't know it yet, but I'm getting it. Look at me ominously creeping up, stalking that plant. Ridgewood, you're going down. Ridgewood went down. <laughs> See, blue glass, I, I, I can fortunately pick up on its behavior, sort of, and, 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 and Aloy gives you an audio cue. So you can kind of figure out, like, when I was like, what is the question mark? I was able to figure out what the question mark was. Now, if I hadn't ever played a video game before, so I didn't didn't know that stealth mechanics involve being seen or, or suspicion, um, I would have probably, I would have had a harder time with that. Um, but I have played, for example, Beyond Good and Evil, and now Metal Gear Solid 1, both of which, um, oh, I made some noise there, uh, both of which have self as a major mechanic. Um, if I hadn't, that might have been a bit harder. So I need to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Ah, uh, look at that. I remembered a map. Oh, this music is so soothing up here. Okay. Huh. Wait. Hunt for blaze and shards. Okay, so that tells me that that's where my quest is. Which is, I think, what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So that I can actually make progress. So I still actually have some lingering after effects. Ah, after effects isn't the right word. But I have, I have some, like, 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 lingering, like... What's the word I'm looking for? Old habits. Um, from back before I started streaming, back before I started playing games that were, like, harder. Um, where I have this gut reaction of, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna play the fun and easy part. Um, I'm gonna, like, run around and do the, like, harmless open world thing. But once the game actually gets hard and intense, I can't handle it, so I'm gonna stop. Um, and that's something that was true to me playing games when I was a kid. Um, when I was really little, um, we had an Atari ST. It was my first, uh, first system on which I played games. It's a computer, not a console. Um, but when I was really little, there were only a small handful of games. I would play Populous, I would play Rampage, I would play Mixed Up Mother Goose. Um, and apparently, at some point, I played SimCity as a little kid. And then I got kicked out, evicted, not evicted, what's the word? Uh, I'm trying to remember what the word is, but uh, but uh, apparently you can lose SimCity, and I was apparently, because I was talking to my sister about this, and I was like, why didn't I play SimCity when I was a kid? Because I liked that when I got to be like an older kid, that was a game that I enjoyed playing. Why didn't, why wasn't that on the small list of games that I would actually play myself when I was little? And she was like, because, because you got, um, you got, because you lost, you lost SimCity, Lauren. Um, and you were so upset that you, like, you never touched the game again. It's true, like, I've never taken well to, like, feeling like I failed at something. Um, and, and, and it's scary. So I've always kind of had this problem. And then starting to stream games that were more difficult and having to play them by myself, um, there's nobody else you can 
ask to do the hard stuff for you. And so I grew up with my sister being the person who would play the hard stuff. And then I was in a long-term relationship and my ex was the one who would play, I mean, both of them, they would like play the game mostly and I would mostly watch. And even if we did play games together, I would be like, this is hard, I can't do this. This is hard, I can't do this. Can you fight this boss for me? And I feel this like tension and stress because I, I want to do it right. I want to do, I don't want to, I don't want my character to die. I don't want to fail. And it's not, it sometimes popped up when I was playing Dark Souls, um, but it's particularly, like, I think it's particularly bad in games where I start being really attached to the main character. So this thing is like in Dark Souls and like basically playing like a zombie, so it's fine. Um, but like one of the games that my sister and I and our dad played together when we when I was a really little kid was King's Quest. King's Quest Three was my favorite. Um, and I've never been able to make any progress with King's Quest because with King's Quest you have to be okay with dying a lot. Trial and error. Sometimes it's bad luck. Sometimes you did something wrong. Um, and uh, and I, I just have never been able to make my peace with that. Even though rationally I know that, like, I mean, how many hundreds of times did I die in Dark Souls? It's okay to, it's okay to die in video games. But I, I have a hard time wrapping my head around that. So here, I'm feeling those, like, those old ways like, rearing up in my brain being like, maybe I shouldn't Maybe I shouldn't play Horizon Zero Dawn. Maybe it's too hard and scary. I haven't died. I haven't even had a confrontation with a dinosaur. I have no reason to be scared of it. But I feel that specific panic in me, which 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 showed up occasionally when I was playing Dark Souls. It doesn't happen that often when, I, when I'm playing games on stream. But it did happen occasionally then. Um, I, oh, deactivate quest. Oh, you choose which quest you want. Okay main quest. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> Aaron's quest. Okay, that's 337 steps. I like that it measures it by steps instead of like feet or kilometers or something like that. Um, because uh, that is a much more within the world unit of measurement. So it's, uh, it's cool. It keeps the immersion going. Oh, tutorials. Tripcaster. Oh, I could go get that tutorial at the Tripcaster. That's probably a good idea. Um, I probably want that. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, so when it comes to when it comes to the King's Quest games and to Sierra Adventure games in general, they have their very own very specific uh, Sierra game logic, which is not the same as regular logic and I was tra trained on it so I'm actually pretty good at figuring out how things are going to work in a Sierra game which a person who hasn't won't. <laughs> so there's a there's a strong bad adventure game that came out that follows specifically Sierra style logic not LucasArts style logic and I was playing that with my ex and he kept getting really frustrated and stuck and I'd be like do this nonsensical thing and he's like it doesn't make any sense Lord. Like, just do it. Then he would do it, and it would work. And he'd be like, how do you know? I was like, look, I was raised by Roberta Williams, okay? <laughs> um, yeah. Should I try this? Powerful new weapon. Tripcaster capable of firing ammunition types. The, this combat challenge will help you learn its utility and hone your skills. I could probably stand to learn a tutorial. I have to craft some fire arrows. Generous reward box. That's nice. The point of the spear, which is what we're doing right now. Okay, side quest. It's not in errands. Alright. Where is she, actually? I want to go to this quest. I'm going to do this quest. Um, let's see. How far away is she? Oh, okay, have I been up that way? I think I have. What is this? Oh, a new quest. That's the person who is uh, screaming after their sibling, I think. So that's going to be a bit scary. Hold on. Am I going the right way? No. This is the right way. I'm going to try not to make super noise. Hold on. Did the music just get scary? It is hard for me to talk 
while also paying attention to what's going on, which probably will get me killed because let's be real, folks. Am I ever not going to talk? Is that ever going to happen? All right, hold on. I'm not yet clear on normal music versus you're in trouble music. Okay, so this way, I want to go this way. Let's make sure we're going the right way. I'm not good at reading maps. I wonder if I'm ever going to capture a dinosaur and ride it around like a horse. That would be very exciting. Don't tell me. All right. Oh, look, there's a bear. Not a bear, a boar. Different verb. Not different verb. Vowel. I am a little concerned, not gonna lie. My brain is not firing on all cylinders tonight, and that may cause problems. Am I going the right way? Yes. I don't really want to run into a wild boar. Okay, fortunately, they're gonna run away from me. That's good. That's good. Wild boars are on the don't mess with me list in real life. That's true blue glass. I, I do stop talking when there's music to listen to. Oh, look, it's a bunny. The music is very, it's very present, but also very like atmospheric here. All right. So I think something I'm going to want to do is keep sight of where there's grass to hide in. So that if I have to like be like, oh shoot, I gotta hide, I can hide. All right. I'm staying to the paths in this game. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Are we okay? We're okay. That was just a bird. Oh shoot, there's dinos over there though. Oh shoot, there's a dino right there. That's a dino. That's a dino. Pretty sure that's a dino. All right, maybe we're not gonna take the path. Maybe we're gonna like just quietly go over here. <laughs> yeah, well, see, Carson, that's frequently how I play games too. Like, if you ever watch, like, I mean, you've seen me play Final Fantasy fourteen, and I'm like, I'll pull up my map and just kind of walk in that general direction, but not know what's, you know. Dino. Oh, there's dinos. Please don't come over here, dinos. Um. But in this game, because it's scary and things might squish me, I, uh, I'm going to wash away the scents for now, mine included. Okay, that's probably good. Are we supposed to go in the water? Oh, no, it's raining. Okay, hold on. We're going to gather medicinal ochre bloom. All right. Dino's not coming. Okay. Oh, there's a dino up there, though. Oh, there's a dino. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, there was a dino. I thought it saw me. But I'm hiding. They can see from pretty far away. My goodness. You can hear the music that lets you know that there's dinos on the loose. I don't like this. Where are you, Dino? You're right over there. Hold on. I can do this. I forgot that I could do this. Oh, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. There's some foxes. Interesting. They don't go after the animals, and the animals aren't afraid of them. They specifically target humans. How interesting. Like... I have not seen any indication that they go after each other, either. Okay, they don't seem like they hear me. Okay, good. Um... I'm concerned, though, because it's still playing the There Are Dinosaurs music. 
I'm sorry, folks. I'm really tense about this. I don't want there to be dinosaurs. Did the music just get more dinosaur? Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about Brahm and Alara. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so we don't know any details at this point about the dinosaurs. We don't know what happened between our friends in the bunker sacrificing themselves for some reason. And uh, now there's dinosaurs. And I have some completely out of nowhere speculation based on having experienced um oh geez based on having experienced science fictional stories in the past um but i don't really have anything to stand on with any of that um like you know were the dinosaurs created by like one group of humans against another group of humans and then things got out of hand like, I'm pretty sure that the world ended, and I think that my guess, based solely... Hold on. It just got more dinosaur. Where are you, dinosaur? I hear you. I don't like you. I'm here, from. Are you out there? Yes. Oh jeez, there's dinosaurs. Do you hear the dinosaurs? I'm gonna come in here and then be invisible. Okay, I'm invisible. Where are the dinosaurs? I can tell there are dinosaurs. Oh, look at that. What is that? There's a turkey. Okay. Please, bro! Come find me! I don't see dinosaurs anywhere. Just a bunch of turkeys. Those are not dinosaurs. Although, although, again, dinosaurs and birds are related so <laughs> Usul, well, I'm glad that I'm glad if you if you don't find it too frustrating yes I'm a very 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 cautious player like an extremely cautious player uh, I, I say as I creep through the grass I wasn't cautious at the very beginning Brom, it's your sister I quickly Alara! learned to be cautious um Yes, I know the turkeys are dinosaurs, but you know what I mean. They're not mecha dinosaurs. Although if we had mecha turkeys. Huh, Are you out there? I want... Oh, that's not good. I don't know what that was. I don't know if that was sound effect or music. But there's... It's super... Oh shoot! Oh, there they are. Bro, oh, can you hear there's me? There's so many of them. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's not just, it's not just, it's not just turkeys, folks. There's striders, which are the ones that look like horses, and then there's there's other ones. Okay. Well, maybe if we go this way, this is like not the Bro, way. Bro, please! It's Alara towards the dinosaurs. We're just gonna quietly creep along up here where hopefully maybe there are no dinosaurs? Maybe there are no dinosaurs? Oh, I have to cross this place where there's no cover. Oh my God, so much dinosaur. I'm here, Brom, are you out there? I feel as though what she is doing is a very bad idea and she's going to get in trouble if anybody finds out. Hold on. We're looking for dinosaurs. There is the turkey. Wrong kind of dinosaur. There is a fox. Not even remotely dinosaur. Boar. Boar. Please, Brom! Come find me! Oh, if I remember correctly, though, this is bad news because there's actually going to be a whole bunch of other dinosaurs around there. Somewhere. I'm pretty sure that's the one that was a trap. Hi, Green Lanyard. I'm being very, very slow. Okay. I think that... If 
I remember correctly, there are dinosaurs around that, and it's a trap. But you will be very sad if you. Am I going the right way? It's your sister, Olara. For this quest, I'm not sure that I am. Hold on. Just a boar. What's what? What are you? What are you? There's there's the destroyed machine. Okay, I'm gonna have to go do that at some point. Um. Yes, I'm gonna have to go. Go talk to Alara later. Are you out there? I know, Alara. I hear you, and I'm sorry, and I want to go fix your problems. Um. And I'm 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 sure this is this is designed to to teach me about picking up random quests. Uh, I'm so glad I have this little device because it picks up on dinosaurs better than I do. Oh, hello. Brom, can you hear me? Just a bunch of boars. Okay, there's the destroyed machine watcher. Okay, we're just gonna like, hold on. I, I lost, I lost where I was going. Where is, where is, oh my God, hold on. I'm sorry, folks. Oh really, Green Lanyard? That makes me feel a bit better actually, because I know I'm like the slowest person Rob, ever. Please. It's Alara. Even with normal games, and this is a stealth game, which means I'm going to be really slow. Alright, let's see if we can do this without making any particular amount of noise. Oh look at that! She uses her hands to help with her balancing. Excellent. So she doesn't slip and fall. Hopefully there won't be any dinosaurs that are going to murder me. What made that sound? That was a piggy, right? Just a piggy? Just a piggy? Just a piggy. Hold on, there's a dino. Oh, hello, piggy. I don't want to... Oh, there's going to be other dinosaurs around, though. Hello, piggy. Piggy, I don't want to fight you. You don't want to fight me. Hold on. Yet the movement is really very natural. Like, oh my god, the music is really cool. Am I going the wrong way? I think I might be. Oh, shoot. Made a little noise. Hopefully not too much noise. Um, um, what, what, excuse me, what? Oh. oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh shoot, oh shoot, it thinks it sees me. Oh shoot, I'm in trouble. Unless, is it the only dino in the area? Can I sharpshoot this guy? I, I'll do it, don't think I won't do it. Oh wait. You ran off that way. Scrappers. Scrappers. Okay, there's a bunch of them over there. So if you kill an enemy and it, you don't get to it soon enough, I bet those guys will come. Interesting, they're like vultures, but for robots. Why are you robots? Why robot dinosaurs in particular? Like, You know, like, oh, that's not good. Did you hear me? Watch, okay, watch. Wait, is this the thing that goes to my house? Is this the thing that goes to my house? No, but it's another thing. Okay, hold on. Oops, I got distracted trying to find, oh, I'm almost there. Oh, I'm totally almost there. Okay, we're going to go back and we're going to do this right, folks. I'm going to try not to get murdered by dinosaurs along the way. Um, but it, it, it is it is kind of strange. Like if it were just robots, that would be a, 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 an interesting and complicated thing. If it were just dinosaurs, that would also be like, you know, like either robots or dinosaurs would be a lot. Um, but the fact that it is both robots and dinosaurs, like... There's, I'm trying to remember what it's called. There's a thing in, in science fiction and fantasy where they basically like, don't double up your weird thing. Like, I don't remember what it's called, but basically like conventional wisdom for science fiction fantasy writers is like, 
don't stack your... Oh, there's a slight dino tinge to the music. I'm concerned, but I don't see any dinos. I'm like, wait, wait. I am. Okay, I'm just gonna follow this path up. Um. And so in a way, it almost feels like they're breaking that. Yeah, kind of, I mean, functionally speaking, don't break your stack your suspension of disbelief systems. I hear dino. I think I hear dino. Where is dino? What are you? Oh, that's her. There's the watcher down there. There's a piggy. Oink, oink. All right. We're gonna go visit Grata and see what she needs. Yeah, well, like, again, like, I could be like, oh, there's just naturally dinosaurs in this world for some reason. Or like, oh, somebody constructed killing machines that are robots. You know? Oh, shoot. This might be very dangerous, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Excellent. We're going to get out of here and we're going to hide in these while we figure out if we did the right thing or not. It's just saying, look at that. There's, there's something on that tree right over there. What is that? Sorry, I got distracted. Um. But yeah, like if there were like, just like just like robots and I'd be like oh humans created the robots to take out other humans but like why why make robot dinosaurs why dinosaurs you know like they're powerful and scary but why dinosaurs like we know that this is our world My food is I wonder what this is this must be some sort of a prayer thing all right She's up here and she's saying she's she's out of food. Yeah, dinosaurs are cool, don't get me wrong. Like I I definitely feel like if you if you want things when my name was called to the mountain. You did not speak it back. You kept it close to your heart. I know. Even when my belly and hands are empty, that you hold me in your embrace. That's such an interesting take on their... I, I'm trying to make sense of their faith. There's the All Mother, which I suspect is actually, um... Okay, so... This is purely, this is, this is, this is, this is like all out. I have no reason to believe this, like specifically, like, like no reason to think that this is how things are. Hold on, I'm gonna scoot this camera out of the way if you don't mind, because like, it was kind of in the way of what I was doing. Can you still see me? Is that okay? Is this an okay placement for the camera? <laughs> yeah, so, so there's nothing that this game has given me specifically to make me feel this, um, but because I am familiar with science fiction and fantasy in general, um, when you have like an end of the world and then humans survive, like one of the things that you can do is put them in, is like either put people in like cryogenic slumber, oh, like some sort mother, of cradle. My food is scarce and I am so weary. Oh mother, I am weak. And, and you I can, uh, the season grows lean and white you... as the springs of my hair. I have looked for your bounty among the rocks and the trees, but I know something. Coming down steady as a drumbeat. When my name is close to the mountain. I want to put, I want you to, uh, this is, this appears to be an altar, not a table. So, sorry. Um, but so what I think might have been the case that this embraces. My, like, my guess is that that weird thing we saw in the mountain was uh, was perhaps like the the cradle of of this new mankind that perhaps the scientists I'm guessing who were in that bunker had created something that would like hold onto humanity while the apocalypse of whatever possibly dino 
technological something was raging outside and then once it was safe humans emerged from this cradle um maybe i don't know sean thank you for rating it's okay it's okay don't worry don't worry about it thank you so much for for coming and for rating i'm always happy to see you here let's see will she accept food if i give it to her directly hello grata <laughs> oh mother since i was cast out have I not been constant as the river flows? Have I not kept the vows as the stones do? Huh. Show me your grace, all mother, and provide for me once more. Interesting that she was Good news, Grata. Out. Once again, all mother has brought you rabbits. <laughs> all mother, your voice cracks like the distant thunder. I hear the songs of grief, all mother. I would join the call, but I left my prayer beads atop the eastern overlook. I am afraid. That will be me. Wait at your camp for me, Grata. I'll see what I can do. Um, 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 did the music get scary? Or was it just letting me know that I did something? I think it was just letting me know that I did something. Human Grata. Okay. Odd Grata. Okay. Let's see. We might as well take a look while we're up here. God, the music is so pretty. Um, but yeah, so I suspect that this cradle of the All Mother was not a religious thing, but a scientific thing that has taken on religious significance. Um. But I'm not sure. And I suspect the fact that we don't have any sort of reading or writing system has to do with the idea that science and technology were what got us to this destroyed world in the first place. You know? Oh, it's a raccoon. Hello, raccoon. Alright, do I want to f continue doing her quest? Might as well. Alright. I'm gonna go this way. Take a look around here. Yes, yeah, so I think we can assume that what Grata does is is very like very devout stuff. Um is this her shelter? Does she sleep on that? Yes. Wow. Wow. And then I guess she gathers her water here. How interesting. And again, the blue thread. I wonder what the significance is of blue. I wonder if I'll wind up meeting other people if they have other colors. I wonder what this, the purpose of this little thing is. Because I have the feeling that the people who made this game have a concept of what everything in this game does. Look at that. It's a rabbit skin on some sort of thing. I bet that's symbolic or significant in some way, you know? Like, I, I, I feel as though the people who made this game have put that much thought into everything that they do, um, which is really neat. Because it's so very different from, like, other games and other settings um, that, I don't know, you kind of have to figure out what it's doing as you go. Let's see. Alright, so let's take a look at our map. I should probably actually maybe walk the trail. Let's find out. Alright. But yes, so my, my working theory again is that this is a sort of post-apocalyptic game in which humanity was saved by some sort of a cradle. Scientifically created, protective, uh... Like, it may have been like, you know, once that it is determined to be safe outside um the like human cells human embryos will be formed but you can't just have embryos you have to have something that can raise them because human babies are especially poorly equipped to take care of themselves like they're worse than like other babies not like not all i'm sure I, I mean i think uh what is it kangaroo babies like they come out even like less baked and have to go have like a second baking cycle in the pouch that's what the pouch is for so like 
I don't know, but 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 short of something like that, I feel like humans, if I remember correctly, are pretty high on the list of our babies can't take care of themselves. Um, and uh, and so you'd have to take that into consideration if you were to try to recreate humanity. You'd have to have something in place that could handle raising them. I hear dinosaurs. Got to proceed with caution. The way she walks, the way she keeps her weight, because she's walking down a slope. It's interesting. It's very well done. And like the, um, the, what's the word? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm really failing at words tonight. The, like, the sense of, the sense of, uh... Like the, the 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 physicality of the world is very important. Making you feel the world is very important. Um, okay. Oh shoot! Oh no! Do you have any friends? Or oh, you do! Oh, shoot! Ah! Oh, I'm gonna have to take them both down. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? I want high ground. I want the high ground, not this. I want high ground that they can't just follow me up. I'm gonna go slowly up this way. Hey, blues, welcome. We're gonna go snipe some dinos and hope for the best. How are you doing? Hopefully you have not had cause to snipe dinos. Can I see the dinos from here? They heard something. You didn't hear anything, nothing, nothing to see here, nothing to hear here. Dinos. Oh, right. I can I can highlight their tracks. So you're gonna go there, and you are gonna go there. So they stay. Okay, hold on. Oh shoot! That's way too far away. It heard me, didn't it? No, it didn't. Okay. I need to get a sniper, sniper bow as soon as possible. I am way too scared of everything to not just snipe everything. I wonder, actually, if I hide behind a tree, will it see me? I love how the music is this fascinating combination of very, very, like, synthy instruments, and then, like, very, like, traditional human instruments. Like, oh, here's a string quartet, and then whatever that kind of synth is that we were just listening to. Okay. Ooh. Shoot, 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 shoot. That was not the button I meant to hit. Please do not question. There's nothing to see. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Oh my god. They're after me, aren't they? Are they after me? Yeah, yeah they are. They're looking. I'm sorry, Aloy, if I got you killed by accidentally hitting the wrong button. <sighs> sorry, folks. I hope you're okay with the fact that I'm, uh, going to be this kind of Cautious. Just looking around over there. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna, gonna sneak quietly over here and get into where we can't be seen. to get past those guys, so I'm gonna have to take them down. Oh, rain stopping. Knew it wouldn't last. Oh, jeez. There's nothing to see here. You don't see or hear anything. Sorry, folks.
Yeah, well, I briefly forgot caution, but we have caution now. Okay, hold on. I'm still hidden. Uh oh, spotted. Oh shoot, oh shoot, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Okay, so stealth kills are a thing. Cool. Any other dinosaurs in the area notice you? Mm, I hope not. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get stuff from you. The music got scary. Oh wait, no, the music the music got that you did the thing. Okay, we're gonna sit here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Okay. I don't know exactly what that is, but um, we're gonna keep going. I don't think I see any more dinosaurs. Okay, so I could handle that. There's a bunch of those right there. Hello, Striders. I'm glad you folks didn't see me. Yeah, so you can do stealth kills, though. That's good to know. You know? Like, there's a thing that's called a stealth kill, which tells me that hiding stealth and doing one good shot, like if I hide stealth and then do a headshot, it will actually do good things for me. Okay, hold on. I should probably not do this while just standing out in the open. Okay, there's more of those coming. Oh shoot, they're gonna they're gonna go where those other ones were. They have to go fill the path. Oh shoot, that's not good. Okay. Good to know, but I think that's what's happening. Maybe. Hold on, let's check check my map. Okay. I don't know that I went the right way. Hold on. We'll find out if we're going the right way shortly. I'm gonna get to this path. I guess that most humans travel in large enough groups that they can help each other out. This whole traveling solo thing is, like being a loner, is really dangerous and bad. I am still very interested in this whole, like, the super, super devout woman got cast out. Human Thok, who are you? What's going on? Thok? Who is Thok? Hold on. Sorry, folks. I got sidetracked. Oh, but there's more dinos. Where are you going, dinos? Can I go into this water safely? Let's find out. I know there's other things I'm supposed to do. And I promise- Please, I need your help. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, Aloy, let's be careful. I'm injured. I need your help. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh God, there's a bunch of these. Would you not help me? I will, shush. Hello, I'm just trying to be safe. Please, there's, a word? There's dinos. <sighs> you want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. That's how you're gonna What's get What's the outcast? problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? Let's talk about everything. See if they'll let me talk about everything. Aloy has, is far too compassionate to say no. We've already seen... Um, like one of her defining traits, one of her, her, her strongest experiences, like as a kid is, is choosing to help that one, that one guy who falls. So let's, let's, let's get more information. Why me? You know, the matriarchs might cast you out for speaking to me, don't you? I don't care. I tried looking for her myself and my leg gave out. Just find her. I'll accept any punishment if it means she's safe. That's reasonable. That's a reasonable choice, sir. Why would your daughter hunt a scrapper on her own? It's my fault. I went after it first and 
They tore up my leg. I barely got away and I left a spear impaled in the machine. That spear was made by Adina, my mate, who died last year. It means everything to Arana. She, she went after the scrapper to get it back. Okay, so we're learning a few things here. Like we don't have a, we don't have like husband, wife, spouse terms, but we have mate. Um. Family connections are strong, strong enough to risk going against everything that you're told to do. Um. You said Arana went to Mother's Cradle? Yes, southeast of here. I forbid her from going, but ever since her mother died, she's become impossible. Damn it, look at me. A widower, now a cripple. A father that can't find his daughter. Please, help me set things right. Obviously, I will do what I can. The, the the expressiveness of Aloy's face is really fantastic. You see like sadness, you see fear for this like for this girl. Like like she's just got these these big compassionate eyes. I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's alright. I'm begging you. Drag him into the bushes at least. Okay, quests. Alright, Thog. Arana's still in danger. What else do you need? Um, no, God. I'll be on my way. Okay. Um, there were some dinos right around the corner. I think. Listen to that beautiful flute. Alright, I will do that quest later, but how do I do the quest that I'm supposed to do? Hold on, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna go- we're gonna keep going this way. I'm sorry, folks. I said I was going to try to do Rost's quests, at least one of Rost's quests, and then I didn't. Look at me. I'm picking up side quests instead. But I mean, this is how Aloy, frankly, would do things. Aloy is my favorite kind of character. She is a meddler. Don't mermaids swim into the rock. I am not any, not any good at swimming. <laughs> Just to shake the water off. Hold on. I tend not to side quest if side questing is not going to give me like story and lore and characters and stuff. But I feel like everything that I do in this game is probably going to lead me to having a better understanding of the world that I'm in and Aloy as a person, which I'm very, uh, Very on board with yes, meddling. Well, it's interesting because you kind of wonder if enough people get outcast, do they just form their own community? Like, why don't we do that? And obviously, it's because you'd have to have like enough people to actually be safe, and you'd have to like carve out a safe place. But do I hear dinosaurs? I see lamps. Not lamps. Lanterns. Do I hear dinosaurs? At least the world is less scary because I have that device and the device feels like a friend to me. You know? Man, Aloy is extraordinarily clever. I just, I love how, I love how incredibly clever she is. I'm very, very, very curious about, like, if her parentage is going to be significant. Is she, like, the forbidden love child of a matriarch or something like that? This is beautiful. Look at this. Look at how beautiful it is here. Wow. Okay. Alright. Wow, this is gorgeous. I'm gonna try not to let how beautiful it is distract me from not dying. I will, I will make my best effort. However, this looks like it might be like rapid water, so we're gonna jump. Hopefully not make too much noise. Just be careful. 
man. Overlook climb. This is definitely teaching me more of the world. Like, more of my area here. Mother's heart is that way. And Mother's watch is that way. Uh, is this the right place? Hold on. Sorry, I'm like interrupting the music to check my map. Oh, it's so beautiful. Like, this is a very well-constructed bridge. Which, I mean, I guess that's the value of having like an entire team of people. Is that you can do things like this. Feats of engineering. a little bit of the main melody there on that instrument. God, it's so beautiful. The music is beautiful. The, like, atmosphere is beautiful. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Shoot. Of course there's dinos. Many arrows. Oh, I don't. Oh, I have six arrows. I should probably make more arrows. I should probably go back into some bushes. There's some bushes right over here. I should go here and make some arrows. Okay, how do I make arrows? God, I have to remember. Buttons. Is it this button? No. Nope. Not that button. Okay. Oh, that's the interact button. Okay. No? Shoot, 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 shoot. They didn't hear me. Okay. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. So, fortunately, she's holding her weapon in her right hand, and those are her right hand buttons. Okay. I know there's a way of doing that. Does it say on the screen? No. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do at all. Can I pick it back up? No, well that's okay. I think I just wa wasted my very special thing. Um, well, that's no good. So now I'm just going to electrocute myself on it, because I don't know what else to do. This is unfortunately how things go with me, with a... Photo mode settings. Okay. Where is the control menu? <laughs> oh, that's right, there's gonna be fast travel, that's gonna be nice. Okay, so you can change difficulty whenever. Waypoint pathfinding, quest pathfinding controls. No, no, not that. Okay. Control mapping. Okay. Jump, dodge, interact, crouch, melee, weapon wheel. Medicine pouch, tools, use tool. I thought there was a craft button on here. This is too many buttons. Well, that's okay. Sorry, folks. Well... 
Is this the button? Did I make... Oh, this is the button. Okay, this is the button. Okay. Got it. Well, I kind of accidentally put this here, and I'm probably going to regret that because I probably want one of those because that was probably really expensive. But I don't think I can pick it back up, unfortunately. So, unfortunately... I think I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I did that wrong and maybe lure an enemy over here. That's okay. I don't even know what that does, so I'm not going to miss it. Surely that's how it works, right? A <laughs> nice surprise for someone, yeah. It's not anywhere near anything, though. Like, that's the thing is... It's not like I'm gonna have a dino randomly run into it. Hold on. How many dinos have we got here? We've got you. And you. Are there any others, or is it just the two of you? Because if it's just the- Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! There's three. That is harder to deal with. What are you doing? No. Hold on. I'm not necessarily a 99 potion sort, but if I'm going to use items, like, early in the game, like, I'd like to actually use them. Okay, hold on. What is your track? Okay, so you're gonna just circle around there. You're over there. And then you've got your friend. Your friend who's there. Where do you go, friend? Okay. They run into each other. I think. I want to go that way. I'm going to have to kill the dinos. I'm gonna have to kill those dinos. On the other hand, maybe if they come if they actually catch me, I can get them to blow up on that thing. So there's that. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, sure, Aloy. Let's do it not when that one's there. walked away. Oh, I bet I could just stealth past them. I bet that's what I'm supposed to do. I bet I'm not supposed to try to shoot every enemy that I see. But if you're sniping, that kind of counts as stealth. Yes, unique items I definitely hold on to as long as I can, especially in games like Undertale. I'm going to try to not make any sound. There's nothing to see here. Birds sound familiar. Hmm. Yeah, that bird right there. I know that bird. I know that bird. Are we in North America? I know that bird cry. I don't know what kind of bird it is, but I know I recognize its voice. Let's see how this goes. Mm. Yes, I know music. I know there's dinosaurs. I see there's dinosaurs. I am aware of dinosaur. Believe me. Maybe if I go around this way. 
Oh no, the music has gone full dinosaur. The dinosaurs can't hear me. I'm not making any sound. I'm being super quiet. So quiet. There's never been such a quiet Aloy. Hello, butterfly. Aloy, unlike Lauren, doesn't talk constantly. Oh shoot. No, they don't, they can't possibly know I'm here. I'm being so quiet and I'm out of sight. There's no way. Watch me just like pop up and there'll be like dinosaurs and they're like, hey, and I'm like, uh, hey, just, just hanging out over here, you know, like you do. Be quiet, Aloy, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to get you killed. Look at me though, I'm trying to choose sneaking instead of violence. Oh, hold on. I think we're gonna have to actually go around there. Okay, hold on. Hopefully we will be safe here. Yes, hello, dragonfly. Um, can I creep around here? Can I creep around here? Yes, looks like I can. Yes, I'm very aware of dinos. Thank you, music. The music is letting me know there's dinos. Maximum dino. Oh my god. This is very scary music. I'm sorry, I'm so slow. But like... I don't want to get eaten by dinosaurs. I wonder, I assume that they're fine to go in water because they're able to uh, withstand rain. As far as I can tell, they can hear just fine in, in rain, and I can't, which is frustrating. Hmm. It's like, I can't hear sounds because the water is too loud, but they're all, I hear an Aloy. Do I have experience? Oh, I do have experience because then I can get skill points. This is a game with, with skill trees. Oh my god, so many dinosaurs. So many dinosaurs. Are there any more down here? Oh, oh my god, you've got to, oh. Wait, wait, why am I with Thok again? And a goose. Oh my god, did I go all the way up there and nothing? <sighs> all right, sorry Thok. Aloy to them to my presence, maybe so. All right, Aloy, come on. That's not what I meant to do. I did not mean to just come right back here, but I did. I thought maybe I could go up there sooner, but I couldn't, so. There's another destroyed one. I think striders are bad news. I'm trying to remember. Some of the dinosaurs, I think, are more bad news than others. I mean, obviously all dinosaurs are bad news. Unless I befriend one. Oh, am I very close to the ones on this side? Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna creep around here. No big deal. Nothing to see here. Just, you know, an entire family of dinosaurs. And this is not my best idea ever. These guys are right over here. Campfire discovered? Where? There's gonna be dinosaurs right up here. I'm gonna pop up and they're gonna be like, hello, human. We're gonna eat you now. And I'm gonna be like, this is not good for me. Please do not. Okay, no, they're not actually close. Okay, good. Are there dinosaurs around here? Campfire, that's what we want. Okay. Cool. Hold on. Alright, there's a campfire. Is that where I'm trying to get to? I'm not sure. Yes, 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 I know dinosaurs are coming. Oh my goodness. 
Okay. Yes, I hear, I hear the dinosaurs. I hear the dinosaurs. Am I going completely the wrong way? I am. No! I'm gonna have to kill those dinosaurs, aren't I? All of the sneak, sneak, sneaking. Like, I'm gonna... Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Oh, that was just a plant. Oh, my God. It's like Dark Souls again. <laughs> Lauren is scared of plants existing. Uh, we're gonna go save here. Please do not eat me. What do you even do with the humans? You can't eat them. You know? Like you can't you can't eat them. You can't get things that you need from them. What do you think you're going to do with a human? I mean, presumably fulfill the needs of their programming, but maybe the Brave Trail up the rocks is close by. Brave Trail. Oh, right. Oh, careful. She drew her bow. That's not good. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh my god, they're right there. Oh my god, they're right there. They're like seriously right next door. Oh no, because that one's just... Please do not. Please do not, please do not, please do not, please do not. Turn and walk away. Turn and walk away. Just like that, that's correct. Where is the thing? I'm gonna have to kill these guys. I climb up there and shoot them all from there. How do I get up there without getting seen by dinos? Probably this grass. That's probably how. Okay, Aloy. Oh, shoot, oh shoot. No, 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 and also no. No. Okay. Sorry, Aloy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm doing over here. Okay. I am close to these guys. Ah, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, I really want you to just say whatever. They're gonna be harder to kill from here though because there's like. How do I... I want to get up that thing. I wonder if I can get up that thing without them noticing. Hmm. I could always just like kind of push the uh, push the limit so that we can do... On the other hand, I might be able to stealth kill them before they do anything. Yeah, when this guy comes back here, I think I'm gonna try to stealth kill him. We'll see what happens. I just saved. You ready to live dangerously, folks? Watch me accidentally, like, hit the wrong part. Like, let up on the wrong button or something like that. Get back here, but Come on. Come on, Mr. Dino. Come on. Oh, I forgot to ask, by the way, how the audio balance here is. I'm ready. We've got to shoot, be. shoot, shoot. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Back, 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 back. Come on, Aloy. Come on, Aloy. It's 
it's raining so they can't smell me. Maybe, 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 maybe. Their question marks are still there. Please do not. Please do not. No, I'm not here. There's nothing to see here. Just exactly. Okay. That one is still question marking. The other one's gone back to their business. Why are you not losing your question? Okay, you are losing your question mark. Okay, cool. All right. Back to business as usual. Sorry, folks. All right. Oh shoot, no, not your friends too. Not your friends too, buddy. Come on, come on this way, yeah? Yeah, that was a stealth kill. Oh, yes, excellent. All right, buddy. I have arrows. I've got a bunch of arrows. I could take out this guy. Look at him, look at him go. Oh, this one's got, look at that, it's like, it's like yellow, that means it's got something better, I think. Alright, buddy. I'm tired of waiting on you. Get your little dino brain over here. Oh, you're too far. I can't shoot you well. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Oh, they're still surprised. Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, that made a lot of noise. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay, hold on, where is, where is the quest? Where is the quest? It's like right up here. Okay, let's, let's get, let's get out of here. Grotta may be devout, but it takes strong arms to reach the overlook the fast way. Oh, I thought that's a dino, but it's not. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, there goes some birdies. Okay, my goodness. What am I doing here? Where am I? Looks like there's some yellow stuff. So I guess I'm going to be jumping. Oh, okay. So it automatically put me here. Okay. Hold on. The jump button is... Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. The jump button is the bottom button with your feet. Okay. Oh, no. She does it automatically. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Now what? Where is where is Grata's thing? Where is where is Grata's thing? After all that, did I go the wrong? Oh, did I go too far? I went too far. <sighs> what am I supposed to do here? I don't know. <laughs> Wall jump. <laughs> uh, sorry, Aloy. Where's the thing I'm supposed to be doing? That way? Am I go am I supposed to go up? I guess I'm supposed to go up. Okay. Uh sorry, Aloy. Oh my goodness, where do I go from here? I don't know. I'm really not sure. Oh, okay. Oh my god, do I have a stamina bar? I do not. Come on, Aloy, up, up. Oh my goodness. Where even am I? What even am I? I don't know, but... Okay. Oh my god, Aloy. Okay. Oh my god, Aloy, how do you do this? I'm so glad I don't have a stamina bar. Oh, I hope this is where I'm supposed to go. I'd hate to like put her through all of this for nothing. All right, Aloy, where are we? Tr where are we trying? To where are we trying to? Are we trying to get to over there? This looks like I could jump there. 
I hear some scary sounds. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, whatever those are, there's something really significant about them, and I really want to go investigate. Like, you have no idea. What am I hearing? Can I... Oh, no, that was not right. Can I jump? Oh my god, I can! Hopefully that was the right way. Okay. I'm in the correct place to do this. Oh my goodness, how does she even get up here? Oh my this god. Looks promising. Aha! Grata's prayer beads. I see why she comes up here to pray. It looks out to Mother's Gate. You know, I wonder what bothers me more. That she ignores me, or that with all her talking to all mothers, she's never lonely. <laughs> I love you, Aloy. What am I hearing? I would totally die if I fell down there. Like, there's like dino happening. And I want to know where and why and what. Because, like, it sounds like there's a thing that's, like, we're hunting out there. It doesn't sound easy. Yeah, like, who's hunting? What are they hunting? I want... I want to know. Where am I going? The wrong way. What's over here? Northern Embrace Gate. Hmm... Oh, this is a quest that I want. What's this one right over here? The merchant. Okay. There was another quest. There, that one. So scrapper sites. That must be like they take stuff. If you if you lose a kill, they'll take it to a scrapper site and you have to get it. Wow. Where's this one? Mother's heart. Campfire. Okay. I wonder if eventually you fast travel between campfires or something. So what's down here? Like, I feel like I should go back the way I was. That's a good question, Sleeping Bee. Do we want to go towards the uh, aggressive dinosaur noises? I'm not sure. And yet I'm doing it. I just, I want to see. Like, I wonder what these, what these symbolize, these wheels with the, with the skins on them. Like, what's going on out here? What the heck is that? You know? Like, I'm sorry, folks. But is that a campfire? Or is that... I should probably make more. Just checking for dinos, like you do. I mean, you want to know what's over there, don't you? Aloy wants to know what's over there. Marine, my boots will get damp. Yes, Horizon Zero Dawn is not like I don't know what the title means. What is, what is happening down there? That's a lot of fire. What is going on down there? I'm gonna I'm gonna find out. I'll find out. Oh hello. Okay, so this is the gate. Got it. I wanna I wanna know what you're fighting out there, guys. Hello. Like, because I wish the Alcas would go bother someone else. Alright, well I'm gonna go investigate what it is. 
I can run up here. It's not like there's gonna be a dinosaur up here. Probably. Watch there be a dinosaur up here. I'll be like, whoops. What is I won't get far going this way. Uh, fine. I just I wanna know what's going on down there. Do you mind, game? Look, there's a house and there's burning and whatever that was. Like, this is interesting stuff. I want to know. Oh my god. Okay, fine, game. Fine. <laughs> Don't let me go where I'm not supposed to go. See, see, see if I care. Alright, I guess. I guess we won't go there. I guess we'll go back the way we we're supposed to. Oh, look at that! It's a piggy! It's okay. I'm gonna let this piggy live. Don't worry, piggy. You're safe. Piggy, what are you even doing out here? What's up there? Oh. Okay, I don't know. We don't know. Nobody knows. Yeah, I mean, I guess maybe no Robo Hell Zone while I'm uh, still in tutorial level. Maybe. I took out some dinos, though. That sounds like an actual bird instead of a dino bird. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, good. I thought I was going to take damage there. It's like right fall, fall damage. I am a squishy, squishy person. Okay. Is there a way I can, like, just slide down here? That doesn't sound good. How am I supposed to get down? I don't know. Well, Subnautica, you're in water, not caves. Or are you in underwater caves? Oops! That made noise. How do I get down from here? Probably just, uh... Shh. Makes a lot of noise. Just gonna alert everything to my presence. I'm sorry, Aloy. There goes the piggy. Taking the route that I probably should have taken. This does not look safe. This really does not look safe. Oh my goodness. Oh, underwater lava caves. Wow. That's like the literal worst. Oops. Hopefully nobody heard that. Nothing to see here, nothing to hear here. Everything's good. What are you? Piggy? Fox, not Piggy. Okay. All right. There might be dinos here. Let's proceed with caution. Yeah, jump scares don't actually bother me that much. Because jump scares don't stay in my head. And my problem with scary things is that once they're in my head, they never leave. So things that, like, mess with you, bug me. I still hear dinos. Let's save. We're in a manual save. Yes, I do. Even though I wrecked, I did something I shouldn't have done, but that's okay. What is that? Some inexplicable sacred thing. Aloy, if you want me to not get you in trouble with the hum humans, okay, just animals. Um, uh, you're gonna have to let me know a few things about about how uh, how the people here live and what they do. Actually, fortunately, she takes charge. Where am I trying to go? Grata's camp. Um. Yes, no, Aloy doesn't seem like she minds being in trouble. I mean, like, she can't un- she, I mean, she's working on, on 
being unoutcast, and then she's going to proceed to break all of the rules and immediately get outcast again. She doesn't care. Actually, I wonder if... I wonder if she's going to get kicked out of the area completely. Like, not just, like, outcast, but, like, you are gone forever, goodbye. Okay. So, this place is safe to walk because I killed the last set of robots that were here, and I guess they haven't reset. Well, that's gonna make this a lot easier, at least. Remember how I, like, stealthily... Stealthily stealth stealthed all the way around there to try to uh, not have to fight those guys, but then I fought those guys. Still have not taken attacking health damage, but it'll happen. Have no fear. I will get impaled or eaten or something. Stomped? Probably stomped. I feel like stomped or laser blasted is probably what we're looking at for these guys soon enough. Yeah, well, there's a lot of different ways in which something can be scary. And so that's why when people try to tell me that a thing is scary or a thing isn't scary or whatever, and they're either like, Lauren should or shouldn't. Oh, that's my explosive. Um, like, they're like, oh, you can or you can't handle this. I'm like, you, you, you probably don't actually know what it is that makes a thing too much for me. So I will need more information. Hmm. Okay, we go back around this way. Keep an eye out for dinos. I'm sorry, Aloy, you're basically just gonna crouch constantly. You're gonna have like the strongest thighs known to man. I mean, she's probably got the strongest thighs known to man anyway. Just by virtue of having to move around the way they do in this world. So I don't want to go that way. Mother's heart. Ruins, I want to go there. Alright. We're gonna do this. Yeah, I talked to a bunch of friends who know a near automata and I'm like you'll be fine and I'm like yes but I need to find friends who know near the original near to help me figure that out. I really don't need to actually go through this water but I'm going through this water just in case. I wonder if something is tracking you. If there's things that actually like track you. I wonder if you have to throw them off your scent. That seems like that would be awfully complicated to have like another like have a scent mechanic in addition to your sight and sound mechanic unless they bring unless they spring that on you later at, at, a, at a point when you've already figured out the rest of this stuff all right oh look at this bridgewood oh you know what i should do i'm gonna craft okay good we got some more arrows Okay. I will eventually have to get my arrows, uh, arrow holding thing expanded. They're dinos? Are there dinos? I don't see dinos. Okay. We're, we're, we're getting there. Hmm. I feel like I should just try to get killed by some dinos at some point just to get it over with, you know? Maybe the next time I encounter dinos, I will try to be fearless. Is this the way? This is the way I want to go, right? Yes. I think so. Oh man. Is this the right way? I think this is the right way. Alright. Shock wax root. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Probably make a replacement for that thing that I set down that will shock somebody. Alright, I'm making some noise. Maybe I shouldn't, but I am. Uh, am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Okay. The Mecha Reaper Yeah, they're not good news. 
for me. Yeah, this is, you have to be like really careful walking up this. But I feel like there's not dinos up here and maybe that's silly of me. Oh, that was silly of me. There's some dinos. Hello, dinos. Oh, that's a turkey. Never mind. That's not a dino. Oh, there's not dinos. I wonder if there's actually something about the sacred spots that makes it so that the dinos don't go there. I wonder if we are like able to put up signs or something that indicate no dinos here. And we don't fully understand how or why it is that way. Um, but since they were presumably created by humans for some reason, where is she? No, that's a turkey. Hello, turkey. Don't worry, I'm not coming after you. I'm trying to find Grata. Is this right? There's Grata. All alone with all mother. The only way she knows. All right. I'm just gonna do a whole series of little quests for her. They they might they might look like I don't know like it might be that there's like a special symbol that you use, and that's something with the shape of it. Your prayer beads, Grata. Now you have what you need. All mother. Each morning I find your tears of joy speckling the leaves. Joy at the beauty of all you have made. See how I cry now with you in gratitude. All right, so she's saying thank you. So you'll cry for her, but she won't speak to me. Fine. Guess that makes you the better outcast. Aloy, I think that's... Grata, I may not be around much for a while. I'm gonna run in the proving and... I'm not sure what's going to happen after that. Oh, mother. I thank you for the kindnesses you share. She's doing when the, the same thing. When the proving comes, in your great wisdom, may you give favor to a brave of generous heart. She's talking about I you, Aloy. I think I get what you're saying. Goodbye, Grata. For now. Hear me as I count off my years of devotion. That's not what I meant to do. I should have probably looked at the item while I had it in my inventory. Whisper to you as your soothing whisper comes in the hushing of the grass. Yeah, like Aloy has not oh, been mother. able to. See how the beads follow. have been worn yeah, smooth no. in the turning. Aloy is like, she's when this like mean, ungrateful meanie who like doesn't ever dance. thank me. But now they are old as I am. But actually she is thinking. Yes. Alright, Aloy. Yes, I forgot to read the item description. Is there an item description? Did I did I miss the item description for this one? I bet I did. Yeah, well, they, they do a lot of following the letter of the law, but not the spirit of the law. Like, the way that everybody can tell you, um, everybody can tell you off, like, go away, go away, I don't want you to be here. And they all do it in the same way, but technically it doesn't count, because technically they're just like, oh my god, there's an outcast here. I don't want to talk to her. Which totally is a way of communicating to you. Um, it's very human, you know? Alright, so what am I gonna do? Go back to my main story quest? Hunt for blaze and shards? No, I have to go rescue some people. <sighs> yeah, let's go, let's go get that. Hey, I did, I did complete a quest that Ross told me about. So that technically counts, right? I have absolutely succeeded at a quest. I feel as though I should get credit for that one. Do I get credit for that one? Does that count as having accomplishing as having accomplished one of Ross's quests this stream? That was interesting because I, I I was wondering kind of this Ross is like, don't be angry at the old lady. And Aloy's like, I'm gonna be angry at the old lady. And it's just Listen to this beautiful music with the strings. I wonder if the music changes whether you're on a path or off a path. Oh, 
I do get experience. Oh, look at how close I am. Okay, so some of you know this one, some of you don't. Do you want another like stupid piece of lore and inside joke language? So when my sister and I used to play like games, or mostly she would play and I would be telling her like, no, you're going east. You're supposed to go to the west cave, go the other way. Um, so that was us playing games together as kids. Um, so like when a character was really close to a level, we would be like, it's like right under their foot and they're about to fall over it. So they're tripping over a level. So look at my experience bar. <laughs> Aloy is tripping over a level right now. She's gonna fall smack on her face into that level. That's how close she is to it. It's like salsa barrels. At some point I'm gonna find salsa barrel. And this game feels like a game that's gonna have salsa barrels. Most games I play don't, so that'll be very exciting. All right, hold on, there's the other quest. Where's the other quest? Okay, I wanna go down this path here. Yo, yeah, well, so salsa barrels are the red barrels that explode when you shoot them, which isn't really usually relevant to games I play. But this game totally has, has shooting and explosives. So it's a pretty good candidate, I feel, for salsa barrels. We may even, oh, look at this, mushrooms. Oh, I'm so glad Fuzzy Werewolf. It's it's a useful term, isn't it? Like, if you play games in genres in which there are, like, exploding barrels that you can shoot, then, like, it's handy to be like, that's a salsa barrel. Well, it's because it's a red barrel. <laughs> and then there's fire. Yes. Brom! It's your sister! Olara! Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. No, please. Please do not. Please do not, please do not, please do not, no. Right, dinosaurs. How many dinosaurs are there? Okay, just you. Maybe, maybe just you. Maybe just you, maybe not other dinos. Are you out there? Nope. Oh, wait, there's a fox, a dino, a piggy, and another piggy. Oh no, there's two. There's two of those. There are two of those. Okay, hold on. How am I going to get up there? Hmm. Bro, yeah, we're... Can you hear me? How many dinos have we got here? There's one. And there's the other one. stealth kill these dinos, I'm pretty sure. Get over here. I'm here, Brom! Are you out there? Alright. I see two of them. Oh my goodness. They, like, have, like, a full path over there, don't they? Please, Brom! Come find me! Yeah, like, you'll notice the animals are completely unafraid of them. Let's make this quick. All right. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Shoot! Oh 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 shoot! Okay, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh! Oh my god. Okay. Ooh boy. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. It turns out. That you can, in fact, melee with those guys, and that's why they gave you melee Are weapons. you out there? 
I'm coming, I'm coming. I know you're very sad. Your brother is missing. I just had to murder some dinosaurs before they murdered me. You know how it goes. You, you, you should know how this goes. Where are you? Where are you, Olara? Where is she? Brom, can you hear me? Oh, she's up there. Okay, okay. Just sensing dinos. Sensing no dinos. Okay, excellent. Then we're gonna do this. Let's see if we can figure out how to get up there. We did, we did get the level, yes. Brom, please, it's Alara. Piggy. Goose. Oh no, don't mess with the goose. The goose will be bad noise, bad, bad news for you in a very different way. How do we get up there? Oh, look at that. Now I know that there's yellow things. Now I know that I can just do this. Are you here, Brom? Are you out there? I will get up to you soon, lady. Bear with me. <laughs> oh my goodness, Aloy, how are you doing this? Oh, okay. Hello. Hi, hey. Lara. Who are you calling out for? Do you need help? She I have sucks. nothing against outcasts. Far from it. But I shouldn't talk to you. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't see anyone else around to help. <laughs> I guess you're right. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be callous. My brother was cast out, but his sentence has ended. He, he should have come home, but he didn't. And, and his camp was covered in blood. That doesn't sound good. This does not sound good. This does not sound good. So it feels like there's a lot of outcasts. Like it feels like there's like, you know, five or six outcasts at any given time in this like immediate vicinity, which feels like a lot. So let's see, covered in blood. You, um, you said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The Braves went looking for him and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. She's very expressive. Aloy is concerned. Aloy wants to help everybody. Aloy, you are great. I do like I don't have the option to not help people because like Aloy wouldn't not help people, you know? What are you doing out here all alone? Each day I cut a notch on the wall so I knew Brahm's sentence was over. Then I cut three more, but he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him and all they found was a blood-soaked camp. The braves said he must be dead, but I have to know the truth. So I came out looking for him. So we've, we've seen just a bunch of outcasts that are doing okay that like have made it like even like this like old lady rost makes sure she's all right even though rost himself is getting older um we've seen like okay it sucks because people won't talk to you but you know like the community kind of takes care of you sort of like you're gonna be all right except not necessarily um so they're making sure that we are fully familiar with what it means to be outcast in this society before Aloy's status potentially changes. Why was your brother cast out? Rom was always a little different. A little touched. One of the hunters had a cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour and the hunter said after him like always, but this time, Brom struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Wow. Spirits made him do it, he said. Whispers of the Forgotten. It cost him ten years. I never should have left him alone. Ten years. Yes, please tell me about the Forgotten. This is going to be the people who died and weren't able to be saved, I suppose, in the apocalypse. What do you mean, Forgotten? All mother curses blasphemers who won't repent. Banishing them from her eternal memory. Those lost spirits are the forgotten. Brom used to say they spoke to him, told him to do things. It was such a burden for him, and, and there was nothing I could do to help. 
That's interesting. Aloy is very concerned for this. Yeah, well, like, they have, they have no concept of mental illness. Um, so, like, what could be causing somebody to have, um, you know, hallucinations to hear voices, that sort of thing. Which, I mean, a lot of societies did assume that the person had been possessed or was 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 hearing from spirits, good or bad spirits, that sort of thing. Um, if they hadn't checked on him because she said to, they would have just never gone and checked on her brother. And he would have never known that his sentence was over. I would assume that when you're being sentenced, somebody is keeping track of that and will bring you back and will let you know. In a society where we don't have calendars or easy measurement systems, so this girl has been making notches for 10 years and knows that she's passed 10 years worth of notches. Um, that's a lot of notches. I hope we can find her her house. I think it'd be interesting to see all of those notches in the wall. But I feel like the fact that they didn't go to go let him know that he should come back um, is indicative of the fact that they didn't really want him back. But they didn't sentence him for life. I don't know. But I'm going to find him. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. Oh, no. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. Yeah, please don't. If that is how it must be, just find him then. Please. Yeah, like, Aloy is just, like, she's very kind to people, even though... I guess we'll do this. Whee! Now that I know that it's yellow and I can do this, it's very exciting. Um, let's get up here, just in case there's dinos around. Um, no, wrong button. No, no, no. Just some piggies and things. Okay, we're all right. Like, she has an, a, an astonishing amount of compassion, given that people have not shown her a great deal of compassion. Is this where I want to go? Yeah. The forgotten. Sorry, I know we've got other, other quests to do, but this is the one we're, this is the one we're taking. has the main theme there on that on that low flute well no but she said that she said that she made th three notches past which would indicate three days past so yeah okay there's dinos yes I hear the dino music I see the dinos what kind of dinos are you what are you? Goodness gracious, what are you, scrappers? Oh, you're the ones that have the power cell weaknesses. Okay. Where am I supposed to be going? Okay, so that's the scrapper site right there. So I'm gonna try to get past the scrapper site this way. Okay. Um, that way. We're just gonna quietly go this way. Hope nobody catches on to us. Doop, 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 doop. Something thinks it hears me. Nothing to see here. Nothing to hear here. Just nothing. Just nothing. I saw a question mark somewhere anyway. Okay. So you guys just go and do your. I know thing over there. All right, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Hopefully, not encounter dinos. See, no dinos. Nothing, nothing for dinos to hunt here. Nope. 
just a just an Aloy going through some water like you do. Okay, hold on. All right, we're we going the right way. We are going the right way, and we just avoided the dinos. Excellent. Although now I know that I can hit some dinosaur dinosaurs if they have a stick and be triumphant. I, I, I'm gonna go mad with power and hit dinosaurs over the head with the stick again. That, I mean, that went pretty well, I feel, last time. Like, thanks, Chrono. I'm glad to know that my madness of powerness is, uh, is immortalized forever. You can summon that up the next time I hit somebody with a stick. If I hit a person with a stick, they probably wouldn't take very kindly to that. Are there dinos? It sounds like dinos. Where's dinos? Dinos, where are you? Oh, shoot. Oh, there's a bunch of you right over there. Okay. Oh, too many of you. I don't want to hit you. I don't want to hit all of you with a stick. You're, you're way too many dinos to hit with sticks. Maybe I get a really big stick, but I don't have a really big stick, so. Are there dinos this way? No, there's a fox. I can do that. That sure is a bunch of dinos, though. Okay, we're just gonna, like, stealthily stealth over here and not get dino. Hello, fox. Fearless fox. Alright. Hopefully Braum isn't dead, but I think he might be. I think the purpose of his storyline may be to teach us that uh, sometimes the outcasts don't turn out okay. And there are actually consequences for being cast out. Other than being sad and lonely. Which is currently the biggest consequence that we've seen, you know? Partly because the outcasts do seem to take care of each other. That looks like what I'm supposed to do, so I guess we do this now. Oops! Dinos? Oh, I can't use dinos. Go down. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Alright, are there dinos around? I do really like having this feature that lets me look at things. I... Oh, there's the dinos. I need to check inventory items. Yes, there's dinos over there. actual animals. Like, it's really, really noticeable that the animals are completely fearless of the dinosaurs. Like, they don't get attacked by dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are... Clearly, they hunt humans, and if a dinosaur goes down, they scrap its parts, presumably so they can make more dinosaurs. Alright. There's dinos. Okay, hello, dinos. There's dinos around his camp. This is concerning. All right, let us investigate here. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of birds. Hopefully the dinos won't get suspicious and be like, oh shoot, oh, she's lifting. Here. She is good at telling what the weather is going to be. I need to find some place where I can stealth because there are some dinos here and I do not want them to see me. Music's about to go full dino, give it just a second. There we go. How many dinos are there? Two. I can be seen. I don't want to be seen. Do they think they see me? 
Sorry, I'm like getting away from my microphone. I'm trying to figure out where the diners are. I can't see, but they can. This is not a good combination of things. Get to see my very serious stealth faces. just gonna go around here and hope we don't make noise. Please do not be curious. There's nothing to be curious or suspicious about. This must be Bob's cat. Better clear out those watchers. Okay. Yeah, no, the... Oh, jeez. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Is it just the two of them? something. I can still get the upper hand. Yep. Still got the upper hand. That's one way of doing it. Jeez, no, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Alright. Uh, we did well. I think we did well. Let's take all the things. Stealth weave. That sounds good. Unused weapon outfit modifications. Use them to craft upgrades for weapons and outfits. Okay. That is a, that was a run-on sentence. But, alright, I'll take some of these things. Whew, my heart... Thump, thump, thumped a little bit. All right. Blood, but no body. There's gotta be more to this. Uh, he made little friends. And there's a fish that appears to have been left as an offering. He made little friends. There is a lot of blood. This is concerning. Uh... Looks like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. This is going to be very sad, isn't it? Yeah, he made himself little friends because, uh... Isolation is very bad for you. Alright, let us make some more... Arrows. Alright, which way does it lead? Investigate- oh, investigate the area with your focus, it says okay. Press R1 when the reticule is over tracks, so tag them. Oh. R1. Campfire recently extinguished. Have I been missing out on things I could have been looking at? Would this have answered my questions about some of the things around... Hmm. That might have, actually. Might have actually answered my question about what some of those things did. Oops, wrong button. Maybe I've been missing out on my, uh... Hmm. There we go. <sighs> okay. There we go. Okay, hold on. Whose knife is this? Oh my goodness. 
Did somebody kill him? Okay, yeah, I, I should have been looking at these things all along, apparently. I'm gonna be using this from now on to look at some of those things. Okay. There's Did lore. someone attack Brom with it? Yeah. Looks like more blood leading away from here. This isn't gonna be good. Make sure there's no dinos around here. It's not dinos that did it, it's a human who did. That's interesting. Perhaps we are the true monster. Yeah, well, I know there's the scan visor in Metroid Prime. I just did not think about it being the thing that you would do in this game, which is silly. I should have realized that. You know? Like, that seems like something there, that I might have thought of. A bucket. Bucket. Contains blood. Origin unknown. Sorry, I'm bad at aiming things. Did someone bring the blood to the camp? Wait, did he decide to make the it trail look of blood like? ends here? But whoever left it must have also left tracks. Huh. I wonder how much Excuse me? Did you see that? It sensed a figure. I assume that Aloy can still keep track of them because she has a very good memory. You can see a figure again. You see it. You see little bits of, of right there. That's so interesting. Huh. No, but I think it makes sense to be like, oh, she, she makes... You know, she, she, she remembers that she's seen it so she can follow that. She's a good hunter, she's a good tracker. You continue to see. Like, did somebody pretend to kill him? Did he pretend to kill himself? There's, there's a lot of possibilities here and I don't know any of them. Either way, though, that's really, really interesting. And this this whole setup, including the, the ability to kind of see the figure, is really interesting. It's a little bit unsettling, almost. All right, Aloy. Up we go. And now what? Oh, so she, she just does that automatically. You don't even have to hit the jump button for that. Huh. How interesting. Make sure there's not... Oh, there's dinos. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Right, there's dinos. How many dinos are there? There's three dinos. One, two, three. I forgot that we are, in fact, still playing a stealth dino game. I feel like there can't be too many stealth dino games in the world. Where is it? There's a thing I can hide in. Okay. Snow haze. White as bone. Huh. <laughs> that thought got dark. <laughs> Sorry, Aloy. Where's the other dinos? One, two... There's a third dino. You're not a dino. 
Well, you're not the kind of dino. Oh, you're right there. You are seriously right there, buddy. One, two, three. Okay. Am I gonna be able to go to this other one? I think so, maybe. The fact that they have paths and that those paths can be read by, uh, by Aloy's, um, device is really, you know, that's really something. Okay, they're all there. Okay, I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I should probably just go ahead and kill these dinos. probably just kill these dinos. I'm gonna want them dead eventually anyway. Then I can do my investigations. I need to stop expecting myself to actually headshot these guys. You start shoot! That's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Guys, investigating. Oops. Okay, you also are gonna sit down. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Phew! Okay. Okay. Well, that happened. Uh, there's more. There we go, you. Okay. Um. There it is. There's one more. You've got something special on you. Watch your heart. Resource. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, that was exciting. That was very exciting. So that seems like it would be disorienting, but it's not. Oh, look, they put health stuff here because they expect that you're probably going to take some damage. Shockingly, I didn't this time around. Um, let's go get some of this. The Ridgewood. I mean, all I know how to do with Ridgewood right now is make arrows, but I want those. So, all right, so we're just going to keep going here. I don't know if I'm like not stealth killing as much as I should be like, or if I'm supposed to be stealthing instead of stealth killing, but I guess you, you need to replenish your resources. So I think you, I don't know. I mean, obviously you can play multiple times, but, or multiple ways rather, failing at words. All right, we're gonna go up here. I th think I hear, no. I do not. There is still this strong impression of this dude. Hmm. I can't tell when the music is just the music and when it's like, oh no dinosaurs, you know? Yeah, I suppose, like, the beauty of open world games is that you can play them as stealthily or not stealthily as you want. I hope I don't have to kill people in this game. I really don't like killing people in games. But I suppose if it comes down to it, this game seems like it would actually take seriously what that means. Um. So there's that. Does the music go dino? What are you? Train. Oh, folks, I've missed out on some stuff. I've definitely missed out on some stuff. Oh, no. You better not expect me to go anywhere ever. From now on. Just take forever. I didn't realize that. That's twisted. 
I wonder if the blood from the camp came from this boar. Where is the boar? Aloy, did you see things that I didn't see yet? Examine the shrine. Oh! 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 Um. Oh. Well. Uh. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? Okay, yeah, because I was going to say, that doesn't seem like the way these shrines usually work. Interesting. Okay. Like, they don't really seem like sac like animal sacrifices, or any kind of sacrifice, really, is uh, in the spirit of what they usually do. Okay, so there's a big dino there. Big dino. Let's see. Ah. Uh, scrappers. Do I have to take out one of those guys here? It's using a chainsaw. Cool. My rock inventory is full. I wonder what this guy is doing. Who are those scrappers for the They're just they're gonna make me because I was like, oh, I'm too scared of scrappers. I'm not gonna kill scrappers. Oh shoot, there's another dino there though. But how many scrappers are there? There's a scrapper here. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I'm invisible, right? Oh my god, that was a close one. Holy crap, that was a close one. Good night, Blues. Well, thanks for dropping by. Alright, so I'll wait for that guy to come back around, and then I'm going to blow him up. This is my plan. They do sound like chainsaws. Dinosaurs. First of all, why do they exist? Second of all, why do they kill humans on sight? I don't know. We'll find out. I know that, that one guy's gonna come back up here because he, he did earlier. Come on up. Coming up, buddy. I suppose I should probably not be like so close. Come on. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Okay, well, there we go. We got her. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. I was just trying to heal. I was trying to heal, trying to heal, trying to heal. Where are you? Where are you? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, shoot. Oh, I died. I don't remember when I last saved. This is not good. Alright, well, I don't know what the save system here is like, so. Oh, yeah, I suppose I should get my. Oh! Oh, shoot! Oh, wow! Wow! Okay. Not a good idea. I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh right! You can dodge! You can dodge! You can dodge! Oh shoot, I didn't heal! Water. 
water, stay in the water, stay in the water, okay. Alright. That happens. Good to know. The uh the water is in fact a safe thing. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do badly here. I wonder if they replenish health. Oh shoot, something. Oh, okay, no, nothing up there is scared of me. Just these things are here. Oh my god, the music remembers this. Okay, so they they will laser you. That is not good. I do not want to be lasered. Do they recover health? Right? That's what they mean by... Holy crap! Okay, I have my... I have my... Okay, hold on. Alright, I'm just trying to keep myself hidden from it. down Ooh. that was exciting that was my uh my uh last arrow no big deal no big deal you know looks like it was a watcher whoever i'm following made short work of it okay if it's brahm he definitely knows how to handle a spear well that's good okay Shoot, that's a lot of stuff. Let's let's uh, get out of here and uh, hide out here and oh, take that. All right, I have now taken damage. <laughs> well done. All right, we're gonna make some arrows. Okay, huh. amazing. The sky is starting to open. Whew. Okay, well that happened. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. There's another dino, isn't there? There's a turkey. There's another dino right there. There's a dino, there's a bunch, oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of dinos, okay. This dino is flailing, awkwardly. going to do. He fought a scary dinosaur like it was nothing. It's okay. I fought several scary dinosaurs. It was definitely not nothing for me though. The music has chilled out some. I am still concerned. This quest is good though because I would have been too scared to take out some of those kinds of dinosaurs, but like now I know how they work. I know that those ones are scarier than the other dinos that I fought, you know? Yeah, that's what I figured.
I should probably get more healing items too while I'm at it. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Is it just the one of you? That is just the one of you. I think it's just the one of you. Oh, there's a person up there. Tyrana. Okay, that's her. Is that guy gonna come back? Because I will take him. I will totally take him out. Where are you, buddy? There he is. He's the only one. I can totally take him. Get back here, buddy. I want to be able to walk through here without worrying. Where are you? Why didn't you go, buddy? Oh, wait, there's more. There's a few of them. Okay, never mind. It's only one of them that comes up here, though, and I want to go around that way. Maybe I can take out one of them up here. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them actually. Never mind. Never mind. Are any of them gonna come up here? I wonder. I'm gonna try to go this way as quietly and as quickly as possible so that they don't see me. Because it doesn't look like I need to fight them all here. What did you do, buddy? Oh boy. Where did you go? What did you do, friend? There sure are a bunch of tracks and a bunch of dinosaurs. Did you go around this way? I'm trying to figure out what happened. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh shoot, oh shoot. I'm gonna have to kill these guys, aren't I? I'm gonna have to take them all out. I don't know how, there's so many of them. But like... Oh, I'm gonna die. But he, like, they go into here. You know? Like, the, the, the path seems to stop there. You guys are there. One, two. There's Arana. That's the. Oh! Oh, wait, that's the daughter! Huh. I'm not really sure what else to do besides shoot this guy. Right. Okay, so that one's fine. They're just gonna go about their business. Nothing to see here. Okay, cool. I will snipe them off one at a time. I wondered why I was having such a hard time sniping this time around. Whereas, like, last time, I, I thought that I sniped them pretty well. Um, and it's because I forgot to hold my bow all the way. Oh, her, her hand. Hold on. Okay. Her arm starts shaking. If you make her do that for too long. Oh, something, something is concerned. Something has a concern over there. Where are you? Where are you, buddy? Oh, it's a piggy. Just a piggy. All right. Not really dumb. Sorry, folks. I hope this isn't too, uh, isn't too, uh, boring for you. To watch me slowly, stealthily. 
I want to just, I want just one of them. I want just one of them. Piggy, stop it. You're making me think there's a guy behind me and it's just a piggy. All right, I know we are getting close to my wrap up time, folks, but I am still questing. Okay, I'm gonna take out you. There we go. Stealth kill. Yes, you can throw rocks. You can throw rocks at them. Oops, that was totally a waste of an arrow, but... Okay, how many more are there? The raccoon is like, oh no, no. I'm not messing with that. Okay, all right, we did that. That must be Arana. Sounds like she's in trouble. Oh shoot. That's just a piggy noise. That's just a piggy noise. Okay. Yeah, I wasted an arrow there, but I did pretty well, I feel. Oh shoot! Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh, shoot. Yeah, get rid of them. Please. I will if I can. I will if I can. There's another one right over there. Fortunately, they are not too bright, so... <laughs> Any more? Oh, nope, that's it. Thanks for saving me from those machines. Did my best. Yeah, apparently somewhere along the lines, I learned to... I guess... Can I talk to you for a minute? headshot enemies in this game so I don't know when that happened but let's go make a friend hello hold on I just want to thank you hold on I'll stand up properly hello Arana thank you I thought those watchers were gonna tear me apart your father sent me after you it's time to go home I figured but I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper of course. Let's talk about this. That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. <sighs> he didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. She's a sad child. Your father is worried sick about you. Yeah. He gets worried if I go ten steps to relieve myself in the bushes. He to just... Fair, he doesn't want to lose you, Alana. I know, but I do wish he wouldn't yell at me so much. Aloy, meanwhile, wishes that she had a whole family to care so much about her. Like, it's clear that she loves Rost, and Rost loves her even if he's not supposed to. But it's not quite the same. It's like, this is my family. I was raised by them, and they love me, and they care about me, and they will make, they will try to make sure I'm safe. Like, there's, just, there's a feeling of belonging that she has never had, ever. And as far as I can tell, nobody else has been born into being an outcast. How did you wind up in that tree? I tracked the scrapper to Mother's Cradle. Caught a glimpse of it, too. But then a watcher saw me and called his pack. My old mother, I'm just not a good enough hunter to get that spear back, am I? I mean, it's a pretty crazy thing to do. However, Aloy is a very good hunter. I'll look for your spear. She'll do you it. will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's Heart. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again. And it's like this kid doesn't even seem to care that she's not supposed to talk to me or anything. She's just like, whatever. You saved my life. We're friends now. And I'm like, yes, that's fair. Let's go save. I should probably finish up that other quest, actually, before I forget. Let's do that. Let's finish up that other quest. We're just gonna run and hope there's no dinos. I've been shooting a bunch of dinos, so presumably. So let's, yeah, let's go back here and figure this quest perhaps out, if you don't mind.
Yeah, um, Blue Glass, it sounded like she was actually played by somebody young. And so that would explain why the voice has not been quite quite to the level of excellence of the rest of the... Frankly, the rest of the... The voice acting has been really good and the facial animations have been really, really incredible. And that's really, really important in a game where you're supposed to get emotionally attached to people and your character. Like, Aloy is very, very expressive, and it makes her feel even more of an actual person versus, again, the sort of cardboard cutout, choose your own. Yeah. Of course. Of course there's more dinos. We could just not fight them. Yeah, we could just go over here. They don't seem too curious about me. Good. We're just gonna go down here and follow these into the bushes. I hope for the best. The weather sure does seem pretty severe. This trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that speed. Oh, that is not the, the trail that I thought I was following. Oh. Hold on. This one. This one. I want this one. Show on map. Did I go? I went the wrong way? <sighs> I want to go. I want to finish that one up. Hold on. Sorry, folks. I went the wrong way. I was right there. But then I accidentally started following her trail instead. Alright, let's hope for the best. Hopefully no dinos. Otherwise I'm just going to have to vault myself off a cliff into the, uh, into the water. Well, I also didn't realize quite how, like, the mechanics when it said, like, choose which, which path you follow, you know. I didn't realize that there were two different paths I could follow because his trail is the only trail I followed. So realizing, like, oh, I can the follow her trail, so I have to choose which trail to follow. It's a bit different. All right. Hopefully the dinos won't eat me, but we're going to go over here and follow his trail. Ruins, huh? I'll take that. For the trail. All right. So where am I going with him? This way? What is that? There's a piggy. It's right around here though, isn't it? The quest marker is right here. I thought that I investigated it and then it like dead ended in the rock, which I like can't actually roll into. So this is what happened last time, is I got really confused about what I was supposed to do here. Because the trail looks like it goes into the rock. And I'm not sure what to do about that. Can I climb the rock? Oh, that's right! Climbing rocks is a thing you can do in this game. Um, Focus could turn something up. Okay. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. Focus. Oh. There's something up there. Supply cash. Okay, there's there's a thing there. Okay. Someone loaded these supplies. Okay. Leather rope currently empty. Oh, he climbed up this tree thing, huh? Hold on. Something showed up on my focus for like five seconds. I could check my focus, see what it sees. All right, thank you, Aloy. All right, we're just gonna vault across there, I guess. 
gonna select those. I think this. Oh, it's this. Supply cache. Oh, is that that one? The one I'm supposed to do? Oh, okay, never mind. Aram was an outcast button. for a long time. Why take food and gear now? That's a good question. What is he up to? Follow the tracks, huh? All right, highlight his track. Is that his track? Okay, so I have to figure out how to get down from here. Uh, I think if I go here... Oops, no, down, 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 down. Oh man, I've always had trouble with things like this. <laughs> no, let go, Aloy. Oh my god. Back when you played, back when you, would, you could play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. There. I struggled with it then. Struggle with it now. All right, we're almost there, I think. Okay, here's the tracks we're following. Now there seems to be something in the middle of the road that wasn't there earlier. I, I thought that this quest would be done, but it's not done just yet. Oh, it looks like he killed a... It's the supplies from the cache. Why would they take them and just throw them away? Whoever I'm following isn't hunting with a full quiver, that's for <laughs> sure. Interesting. I just, like, I want to follow this quest through to the end. You know? I need to figure out... I need to do some more using my device on things to try to make sense of, like, things in the setting. Although I do wonder, actually, um, if Aloy is the one having to program these things, for example. My sister. My sister. I need to protect her. Oh no. Oh no no no. No no no. No 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 what did what did you what did you do, buddy? What did you do? Thomas, you won't make me hurt her. Oh my God! Oh my God! Please do not have killed her! Please do not have killed her! Did you push her off the edge? I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? I think this is going to be pure compassion. So many voices to listen to. It must make your head hurt. I promise my voice will be soft and soothing. A soft voice, like Alara's. It's been so long. Years. Yes. Yes, I... I will listen. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the Forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I, I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me. Keep me company. Help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom. Oh, You're alive. Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. Okay. No, 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 
Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Brom. He fears these spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes, just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once, and it was provoked. I... I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, they're... they're whispers. They... they fill my head with screams. Isolation was not good for him. I mean, this might go terribly in the long run, I don't know, but Aloy would definitely, I think, pick the compassionate option here. Brom isn't ready to return to the Nora, but I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay. A cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brom. I'll help you. Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in All Mother's eternal memory, and may the Forgotten leave you be. My goodness. Wow. Okay. I, uh, I should probably save my game now. I guess I should figure out where I can save, but, uh, that's an interesting little side quest. Like, it makes you feel some of the consequences. Like I was saying, of, of, like, I mean, you feel partly how, uh, no, no, wrong, but no, no, no. There we go. Like, I mean, it, it does give you a bit more of a sense of, like, like for example, how their society is not actually equipped to, to deal with people who have, you know, challenges like that. Um. Well, I mean, the way that they talk about All Mother, um... It feels like, hold on, where is my nearest save point? I'm not near any save point. Ugh. Maybe we'll go to this one. That one looks closest, and it'll take me to where I'm trying to get to. Okay. So we'll go there. Okay. Where is my path to that? So the way that they talk about the All Mother, I feel like that is what has, um, what created or brought the humans back to life or protected the humans during the apocalypse. Um... And there's a couple of things that it could be at this point. Like, it could just be the pod. The thing is, like like I was saying, baby humans can't take care of themselves. So something had to be in place to take care of them. And if we have sufficiently advanced technology, then it stands to reason that some sort of an AI um, was responsible for raising the humans. Like, basically w waking them and then raising them. Um... And like, I don't know exactly what that means, but uh, but yeah, like it seems likely that it would be not just a computer database though. Like there would have to be something robotic to interact with them, because again, like, like humans are really, like human babies are really unable to take care of themselves, profoundly unable to take care of themselves. So, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Wow, Aloy, that was needlessly exciting. All right, we're gonna go here and we're gonna save properly. Um, I don't want to quick save in case I accidentally turn the thing off, so we will save properly here. Yeah, okay, so, so like, my, my guess is like technology is going to be involved. Like we see the like Doc Ock looking things in the hillside, I wonder if there are specific regions around the world where, like, pods of humans were saved, and I wonder if they were each saved differently according to what the people who lived in the pre-apocalypse times in that area did. So for example, we know that we are somewhere in English-speaking North America, um, because the people that we encounter in the bunker, which is physically in the location where we are um, we're part of 
English-speaking contemporary North America. Um, so it's clear that culturally, this must be descended from that somehow. Um, but I, I wonder whether we are going to wind up leaving. Perhaps we will be banished. We will be double outcast. Um, where they're like, we can't trust you to follow the rules of being an outcast because you have made it abundantly clear that you can't be trusted with that. So fine, we'll kick you out. Because they don't put people to death here. We'll kick you out and you'll go find other enclaves of people around the world that might be different. Because they might they might come from different cultures. Um, I don't know. But like, if... It, I don't know... The whole technology bad, language bad, human society advancement bad thing. Uh, Marcus, thank you, Redeeming Hydrate. I'm sorry, I feel like I wasn't so good at, uh, at uh, talking to chat this time, but... <laughs> yes, we'll see if we achieve triple up, Casties. Um, no, but I can kind of see that being where they might take me, because I was wondering at first, because... Um, it feels, I was like, you know, this feels like this big world that I'm wandering around. But as I wander around it, as I take a look at the map of it, it's not actually all, I mean, like, it's big, sure. But, like, a lot of this, I think, is not, is not accessible. We're in the mountains, that's why there's so much snow. Um, but, like, well, maybe I'm wrong, actually. Maybe the map does go a lot bigger this way, actually. Okay. But that is still... Oh look, there's there's roads. Okay, so this map is a lot bigger than I thought. I wasn't sure if there's gonna be like another map. Okay. Interesting. So there's definitely gonna be different areas that we could walk to. That, that's gonna make fast travel more relevant. I, I wanna go to the ruins. I know I'm not supposed to. I know I'm supposed to do other things. Yeah, so this was mostly gameplay focused. Can we zoom the map in and out? Um. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, that's a big world. For a game like this. That's a big world, I think. <laughs> that makes sense, actually. Especially knowing that a lot of it is not really very accessible. Huh. Center and ALA place a waypoint. All of these things that I'll figure out a bit at a time. No, I just, I feel like the beliefs that our people have in this area are not going to be the beliefs of everyone because they seem so tied specifically to the All Mother. And the All Mother's mouth, okay, the scrapper site, I haven't been here. That way looks a little bit rude, but there's the. The, okay, so Mother's Heart. So the, the mountain, I think, is there. Mother, maybe this is it. Yeah, no, look, 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 look. See? See? Look at this. We've got those, like, those things. These things right here. Those are the things that make me suspect. So where is this? Mother's Watch. And then this goes somewhere. Like, that's super technology thing. <laughs> Yeah, no, there's going to be a lot of mini golfing here. And I'm sorry, I feel like, I hope folks don't mind. Like, I used to be more about just playing the game and taking it as it came. But these days, I really enjoy trying to piece things together. And this feels like a good game for piecing things together. I want to go to the ruins. I want to go to the ruins. I could try to move forward with quests. Or I could just go to the ruins. <laughs> no, I should probably actually move forward with what I'm supposed to move forward with. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's just, there's just a lot. There's a lot to do, and it's very exciting. And I know that there's going to be emotional stuff coming. How is it that I've played this game this many hours, and I feel like I've I've barely scratched the surface? I haven't even finished the quests I'm supposed to finish for, for, for Rost. I'm going to do those. I'm going to do those next week. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, folks. Wait. Wait. Next week is Thanksgiving, right? It's American Thanksgiving? Yes. I am going to be streaming on Tuesday, probably. I fly out on Wednesday, but I think I can probably stream on Tuesday. I will not be streaming that Thursday or Saturday. 
Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I might go to the ruins. We'll see. But I want to... I want to... I do want to actually progress the story some. So I'll have to decide if I want to progress the story or go to the ruins and then progress the story. <laughs> we'll see how I feel about this. Oh, man. We very Well, so I haven't been... I've only... I wasn't able to do Canadian Thanksgiving with family this year, last, not or last year. I did the year before, but yeah, having twice as much Thanksgiving, so twice as much food. I, I cooked Thanksgiving dinner with my roommate um, uh, this year, so yeah, having lots of Thanksgiving. It's funny, you just have like every Thanksgiving, every month, just like arbitrarily decide that this is the day that I'm cooking a feast. It's a good way of being. You know, I tend not to be a completionist, but there's little bits of the world to figure out. And Aloy, um, the thing that Aloy is going to be most hungry for is family. Um, so encountering these people who are specifically trying to find their family members and protect their family, that's going to hit hard. I love how there's not a moment's hesitation with her when it comes to helping people. Like, she, she, like, I could understand actually being concerned about this guy who thinks he's going to have to hurt people. Um... But she also doesn't have any allegiance to the town either. And so here she sees people in need. I don't know. I really like... I really like the way they're highlighting, like, Aloy's personal... Like, they're not just random quests. They're showing us bits of the world and highlighting things that hurt Aloy in an interesting way. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of love put into the creation of this game, and I'm really curious what's going to happen next. Wow, I've gone over. Did not mean to go this far over. Well, thank you, folks, for hanging out with me. Um, we we had we had an adventure. We completed a couple of quests, um, and uh, and we fought some dinosaurs. We'll see how well they do because open world games don't hold my interest very long on their own unless they have a driving story or a lot of emotional rewards. So I'm curious to see how this is going to go pacing-wise versus Final Fantasy XIV, but at least the gameplay is a lot more interesting and I feel a lot more like invested and involved. And eventually knowing I'll be able to fast track around will make that easier too. Um, so thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I really appreciate you being here, even even those of you who stuck around so late. Um, so as a reminder, Thursday is Hades and Saturday I think we're actually going to be finishing Delta Rune. Um, also, folks have been requesting. Uh, I'm going to do a cooking stream when I get back at some point in uh, in in December, probably. I'm going to do a cooking stream where I teach people how to cook something. Um, so stay tuned if that sounds like fun. We'll pick a day and we'll do that. Um, yeah. So take care of yourselves, everybody. Um, I, I, if you haven't seen me before, I am Lauren the Flute. Please feel free to follow me on the social medias. Uh, follow me here and you'll get a notification when I go live. Also, fe feel free to join our Discord if you want to. Um, and uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marcus, for your bits. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Take care of yourselves and I will see all of you possibly next week. I'll keep you posted. If we don't do next week, we will pick up the week after that. I will be traveling a bunch in December and I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do about that, but I will let you know. Good night, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Bye.